hi, welcome to Laura's Fedora. Today I'm going to show you how I made this Elsa dress for my daughter. It's her birthday coming up soon, so yay! Alright, so I had five shirts that were super large size, perfect color for Elsa's dress, just in my closet. Got them for free from my brother, so I was like, yeah, thanks brother! Uh, you could do this with uh, three yards of regular cotton material, but since I had these shirts, you know, I'm like, why not use them? Yeah! But I kind of thought that the color was too dark, so I bleached them, and so they had some cool swirls in them once it was all dried and stuff. And so what I did is I cut out the sleeve parts because I didn't want to have sleeves coming out of my dress you know I just wanted regular fabric so I cut out that part and realized okay I can cut it into two rather large triangles for the back part of the dress and then one uh, triangle for the front part of the dress so three triangles the back pieces are a little bit longer like right angle triangles if that makes sense, and the front piece is more of just a regular triangle size. So I pinned those together and sewed right sides together. Then after I did that, I got her a shirt that fit her just right, white shirt of course, and I pinned the skirt to that shirt where I wanted it sewn. Then I took that off and sewed it onto the shirt so she can easily put it on and off quick and easy, no zipper, no velcro required for this outfit, which is awesome. Okay, then it's on to the top part. So for the top part, I just cut out a long rectangle piece. So I cut uh, up to the sleeve of one of the shirts, and then I cut across to the other part of the sleeve. So it was just this super long rectangle. Then I folded the raw edges and pinned it where I wanted to sew it for the top part of the dress. Okay, so to add some bling to this top part, I, I got a half a yard of this kind of shiny tool and I just kind of folded it onto the fabric and repinned it again to where I wanted to sew it. So the top part to the shirt. And I left the bottom part open because I'm going to fold it into the shape of a corset. So I pinned it all straight in the back, but then the front comes to a point in the middle. Then to add some darts to the front to make it more fitting, I just kind of tucked the fabric in to where I wanted it and made sure the points were parallel with each other. And then sewed that down. Okay, so now we just need to add the little puffy sleeves and the train, which was pretty easy. All I did was pin it around the back and a little bit to the front where I wanted it. So I used three yards of the tool. Then I cut the extra off the bottom to match with the, the bottom part of the dress. And to add more uh, poof to the dress, I added more tool to the inside of the dress. And then added some decorative beads to the front to make it all blingy blingy. And voila! It is done! <laughs> oh dear! Now twirl! Now twirl! Woo! Oh, how so pretty! Hey, thanks for watching this video. I hope. You enjoyed it? My daughter sure enjoyed it. She's been dancing around our house all day with it on. Anyways, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos like this.